quite sure if this flavor of fat bomb exists but I want to present to you today my very own blackberry and pecan fat bomb swirl it tastes like ice cream it tastes like cheesecake and it tastes like a fat bomb and this is what they look like absolutely gorgeous and we had a friend uh, come and pick their daughter up um, after a play date well the 16 year old so not really a play date and we made him do a taste test so if you're interested in seeing his reaction do um, we're going to show you that after the recipe so it was really fun to watch I, um, I also want to maybe just decorate this a little and give you options um, for adding some sugar-free chocolate um, yeah I can't wait to dig in so let's go through the recipe and I'll see you after one and a half cups of heavy cream into a bowl and whip that until you have soft peaks then set that aside just to understand this recipe it's more like a keto ice cream than anything else but I've been told it also tastes like flavored yogurt or cheesecake if you're new to my channel welcome if you love this recipe please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel to access lots more yummy keto recipes also hit the notification bell so you know when a new recipe is being released the nutritional info is listed in the description box then in a separate bowl combine one cup of cream cheese two tablespoons of butter a quarter cup of monk fruit sweetener then fold in three tablespoons of crushed pecan nuts a quarter cup of chopped blackberries and one teaspoon of vanilla paste mix all that together until you have an even consistency then add the whipped cream and combine if you want color variation and what I mean by that is light and dark streaks in the mixture then you would fold the mixture until you have the color variation you're looking for I combined my mixture fully and that's also just as good okay for the next step you need something to separate the mixture into the servings you can use an ice cream scoop placing them onto baking paper for freezing or even an ice cube container for me the easiest was using a piping bag and a silicone tray then pop them into the freezer for two hours to set when you're ready to eat them take them out of the freezer and let them sit for 10 minutes so they soften a little keep them stored in the freezer to maintain the same consistency if you want them softer you can also keep them in the fridge for two days if they last that long these fat bomb swirls need no decoration but if you would like to maybe decorate the bottom or maybe you are preparing them for Christmas because they are that decadent I'm going to just melt some chocolate and no it's just a little bit of butter uh, in the microwave for 30 seconds at a time and um, I'll see you back soon okay I've got my chocolate to a paste and um, that's what it looks like just because I want to show you one option sorry that's what it looks like and just because I want to show you one option um, I'm just going to grab one and coat the bottom and I'm using baking paper so it doesn't stick to a container but you can coat the sides and just pop that down I'll do another or you can do a ganache with sugar-free chocolate like I'm using and cream and you can also do a swirl over these but they don't need this chocolate I'm just giving you other options to make it pretty let's take a quick look now at Neil's reaction who had no idea I was busy in the kitchen making these Neil is going to give us our a very honest reaction we've got a container of diet swirls now <laughs> and yeah tell us what you really think of these mm -hmm. That is, that is beautiful, surprising, Do because you... I, I was expecting, I thought, is it a cake? I wasn't sure what it was. So this but is... that's like a yogurt. Yeah, a little mm. bit of yogurt. Oh, that's okay. nice. 
No acting in that. No, yes. no acting. <laughs> no, it's honest opinions. That's absolutely beautiful. Oh, cool. I won't last long. <laughs> so this is for a keto diet, mm -hmm. which oh. is a low carb, mm -hmm. high fat. Yep. So huh. no guilt with it. No guilt. No. No guilt. Mm -hmm. I don't right, have to share it in the diet. There you have it. Neil is non-keto. He's an ex-athlete and does not have a sweet tooth. He is definitely a savory person. So if he thinks it's all right, I'm pretty sure you're going to love it. Thank you for watching. See ya.